Good day, everyone. It's me, Encon, and my little co-host, Chibrashka, who's always my luck charm and little fishing buddy. He's always around. Anyhow, we're going to start our uh, second video today, short as possible, as to get the new angler acquainted with this fishing. You'll be on Mosquito Lake. You have your telestick that they have gave you and your... Uh, spinning rod with a couple of lures, spinning lures, that's it. So you can have basic gear. So one of the things I recommend, you should have around 50 silver thereabouts. And one of the things I recommend is, if you would like, uh, go to the administration. So when you start, you'll end up somewhere about here. You turn around, there's the administration building. And you'll see that it says uh, E for enter. This will be the uh, grocery store don't have to walk right up to them in most cases so one of the things I recommend is you hit your E key and you enter and you can purchase the map for three silver so uh, of course I like to collect the maps for all locations and for new players it would be good because you can walk all around the lake as well or be in the boat but that's another story so one of the things I really recommend guys, the very first thing you need to buy, you can use your WASD keys to walk around as they showed you in the first part of the tutorial. Or if you hold the W has example with the shift key, you can run. So that will help you out as well, move a little faster. So the first thing I recommend guys, very important is got to learn the tackle store. So you have your rods, you have your reels, you have your lines, your hooks, your lures, your baits, and rig components. This will here will give you the whole thing on floats and feeders, bite alarms, uh, jigging material, and your ground baits, which will be your recipes. But I'll be making videos on all these things anyway. But the most important today, guys, is you go to accessories. And I think a lot of people may not know this, but you run down to miscellaneous. Yeah. You go there. Boom. You see it says express fishing, regular landing net, 2750. Yeah. Take half your silver. Plus, uh, you'll spend 30 silver between the map and that. I really highly recommend getting that fishing net an inexpensive good quality landing net round in shape produced by the express fishing company mesh made out of robust nylon frame is made out of metal three meters long and you'll need it because some of the rods are quite long and uh, folding allows it to carry it in the backpack so uh, without this I will tell you now if you're using that beginning telly stick and you get a fish around a kilo kilo to bit you're not going to lift it out of the water with the rod that they give you and you're going to have a hard time landing it especially if it's feisty and you get something two kilograms well good luck so having this net so how you're going to be using it is when you have the fish you use your right hand to mouse button of course your uh, when you press it it'll lift your rod up so you'll maintain pressing that and you hit your space bar and that will activate the net to take your fish and it will scope its way out and pick it up for you so I highly recommend that you do that and then of course you're going to be fishing for a while and the nice thing about mosquito is they got this uh, kitchen right here you see it says field kitchen you press E key and you get to eat you're allowed to do this one time per in-game day which is one time per hour and unfortunately my camera is covering the bar but you can see right beside here that little green bar building up and that you'll see it almost maxed out see the two second and third bar see there's a second bar it's almost full so the first bar is energy second one is your uh, uh, um, hunger level, third one is your life, and the fourth one is the comfort level, which is very important. Now, uh, the next thing, after you're fishing for a while, because you got this basic gear that they give you, and this here was given to me uh, by my friend Skillful, who's uh, helped me with my fishing and to progress, this is my second account, but you'll see how it works. And as you're fishing, collect some money, and it's very important, guys. Okay, like uh, in the older videos, they had said, hey, buy the shovel. Well, you know what? Uh, to use this, you need high energy, and because you're only eating carrots and pickles, it's not good. You actually do have to craft. So the first thing I'd recommend you buy is the tea kettle. 
It's very important because you can boil your eggs. Eggs give you good, which you can only buy in the winding river, but you can travel there for free. So between the cottage, mosquito, and winding river, you can uh, travel for free, pick up these few items you need. So as you're fishing along, save up your 20 silver, buy the fishing kettle, and then the next thing I'd recommend is to be buying eggs, travel back and forth, uh, get some crafting done. You can get sausage on a stick, but the kettle also makes tea, which is very important. And the next thing I would get on the list, uh, you can choose between the coffee and the frying pan. Unfortunately, in the game, coffee is usually sold out in the first three places. So you're going to be spending probably a hundred odd silver just to be getting coffee. So I do recommend getting this, but I would most likely uh, would run into the um, uh, frying pan. But if you're able to travel a little bit and you open up a level, you do need the kettle, the Fiskarna serve, and the frying pan. These are the three most items that you need as you're fishing. Collect these, then get the shovel. Okay, very important. This the shovel is not a priority. The kettle is a priority. The coffee is a priority, and the frying pan. Okay. While you're in the hardware store, in order to do this, you need to buy a book of matches and you need to buy some wood. So when you click on the wood, you're going to be looking at a single piece, or if you can, buy bulk. But that depends on your silver and how lucky your fishing is. I have 142. So for me to go crafting, uh, I got to check my firewood. I can click on here and it says I got five pieces. So I'm good for five matches and five cookouts, which the fire lasts uh, almost the whole day, like 18 hours or something like this. So I already have my matches. So my priority now is that I got the kettle and the coffee does your energy and the frying pan does your food. So I will most likely now uh, we'll be buying the uh, coffee or the frying pan. It doesn't matter, but I'll be fishing for a while. Okay, so those are the priorities for the new fisherman. It's definitely a must. And then the thing you should always do is come into the cafe each lake. So here you can get sleepers, so you get uh, purchase. So you need to find uh, their purchase, Chinese sleepers, roughs. So you look at the chub, 800 grams. If you catch this eye, breams. Uh, breams you might not get because you're not feeder raw. Some of these are by feeder. Uh, you're most likely on telly stick. You'll get the bleaks and you could get the crucians and you might get a chub depending on what you're using. Maybe an eyed, but you won't get. You get a four kilogram eyed on your telly stick. You're not going to bring it in. It's going to snap your stuff. So uh, the smaller ones you might be lucky. So I would suggest that. Uh, you probably get the bleaks, you'll get 12, maybe 20 here. And this is always changing, guys. And these are, as I explained in the first video, the in-game hours, okay? So very important, check the cafe, see if you can make extra silver. And then after that, you go into the uh, fish market over here. And when you have your bag of fish, sell the fish, guys, as fast as you can. Uh, and because if you, uh, the minute you, you cut your fish, they degrade, okay? Now, if you end up having some friends or connections and you have a premium account, you, if you did pay the subscription, you're able to send stuff to other people. So, for instance, my good supporter, Skillful, had sent me some items to help me move along my account. So, he sent me some small size 24 happy hooks. And uh, it's got some size 22s, which these are the recommended sizes for the little fish. And, of course, the flies you can buy in the bait shop. He sent me some so I can build my silver because he knows I need to buy these great things. And thank you, Skillful, for your great support and help. I really appreciate it a lot. So, guys, that's the main thing about fishing. The next thing, if you are going to be spin fishing, absolutely important, guys. Don't even put that lure in the water. This is the last piece of advice I'll give you for this video. As you go into the tackle store and you look under rig components and you look under classic leaders and it says steel. Spend that little money and get that 6 kg steel leader and stick it on your spinning rod right away. Okay? 
because there is pike in here and if you don't put it on you're going to be losing that spinner and that first spinner they give you is about 460 silver and well uh, you will be piked okay so that's one of the, the uh, dangers when you're first starting out they got big carp in here too so unless you got the feeder rods you most likely won't catch a carp uh, it's rare on a worm or a telly stick but certainly you are going to feel it okay so I'll end this video for now so this will get you at least a basic start of what you need to do and at least give you an orientation of uh, what's very important for your materials so Jib Rashka and I say Ciao for now, and we'll see you in the next vid.